Good morning, Fufa Pirates, and welcome back to another amazing episode of FPNN. I'm Taylor. And I'm Caitlin. Today is Wednesday, December 21st, and the 88th day of school. Let's head to Brian for the pledges. In the United States of America, and to the Republic, to be, which stands, one nation under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. And now for the fulfill pledge, I can be responsible, respectful, and resourceful in everything I do and say today. Thanks, Brian. You did an amazing job. Get ready for our Wednesday Science Trivia question. This question is for kindergarten through fifth grade. The number to call on your screen is 50612. We will be answering caller number two. Today's question is, what is the name of this tool that scientists use? Sorry, you're caller number one. Hello, whose class is this? This is Mrs. Orphan. And who will be speaking? I'm going to give the phone to Johan. Uh, Do you ring scale? Woo! <laughs> The correct answer is a spring scale. Congratulations, Miss Orphan's class. Now to Mauricio for the menu. We will be having deep dish cheese pizza, deep dish pepperoni pizza, chicken Caesar salad, steamed corn, pear cut, and assorted 100% fruit juice. Arg! Excellent job, Mauricio. That sounds delicious. December's word of the month is empathy. Empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of another. The three R's should be always followed, especially in the hallways. Keep your voice level at A0. Winter break starts Friday, December 23rd and ends January 8th. Make sure to come to school on January 9th. Make sure to stay warm during this chilly break. Theme days are coming. December 22nd is holiday swag and January 20th is Disney slash superhero theme. I hope to see those wonderful outfits, Pirates. Your books are on sale for $20 each. Buy one soon to see your amazing pictures. Now it's time to bet you didn't know. I bet you didn't know that each species of big cat has a unique coat for camouflage. Now to Miss Becky for some announcements. Good morning, everybody. I wanted to give a special prize to three lucky teachers this time around for turning in their calendars on time for the cafeteria. So first winner, you guys are going to get a Starbucks gift card, Miss Ferguson. Yay! All right, Miss Ferguson. Miss Wilkes, congratulations. And last, if I can open it up. Missy, congratulations, guys. Thank you for turning in your calendars on time. Oh, Miss Wilkes, Miss Ferguson, and Miss C. Congratulations. Remember, everybody, to do uh, all be responsible and respectful and resourceful in the cafeteria and earn those green cups. And every classroom this month is getting a treat. Great job, everybody. Thank you, Miss Becky. All right, we have a special announcement from Case. Um, hi, my name is Case Bernstein. I am a student in Mrs. Wilkes math class. Our class thought it would be great to have a new treat choice in the cafeteria. So we talked to Mr. James and he gave us some delicious options. It's really exciting because you will get to decide which new cookie Mr. James will make for us. There will be four new cookie flavors to choose from. The first flavor is chocolate chocolate chip, which is a chocolate cookie with, cho with chunks of chocolate in it. The second choice is a cocoa cherry bar, which 
It's like a brownie with dried cherries in it. The third choice is a snickerdoodle, which is a sugar cookie with a cinnamon sugar mixture on top. And the fourth choice is a banana chunk bar, which is a banana cookie bar with chocolate chunks in it. Every student will get a token from their teacher to vote for their favorite new cookie. Students will put their token in a jar in the cafeteria to choose their favorite treat. The last day to vote is today. Happy voting. Arg. Thank you, Case. That is amazing. We'll give the camera a second to adjust. There we go. Good morning, everybody. I don't usually get to see you on mornings like these. Usually it's Tuesday. So this is quite a treat. We'll start off with one reminder, and then we have some really fun, wonderful announcements to make. So first, please return all the library books to the Media Center for inventory before we leave for winter break. So make sure that those all get checked in so we can take care of them and have them ready to roll for the new year. Okay, give me one second. All right, let's think back. Think back to earlier in the school year when we participated in the attendance poster contest. We had so many entries and they were magnificent pieces of art that were showing about the importance of being at school every day. Well, our winners have been selected and we have those packets here for them. So we're gonna go ahead and announce our winners one per grade level. All right, Case, if you would be so kind. From pre-K, we have Eliana. So Eliana will come see you today and we'll give you a copy of your piece of artwork um, that can go home with you. And just so you know, the framed copies of these pieces of art will be hanging in our hallways just like they have been. So please take a moment to walk by and see our winners for this year. Thank you. For kindergarten, our winner is Lily Howe. Well done, Lily. For first grade, our winner is Amelia Chanel. Well done, Amelia. For second grade, Julia Schoenfeld. Good job, Julia. For third grade, our winner is Jackson Holzbecky. Good job, Jackson. For fourth grade, our winner is Lily Olson. Well done, Miss Lily. And fifth grade, our winner is Nora Howland. Nice job, Nora. Thank you, everybody, for participating and putting together some really wonderful posters. Double congratulations to our winners. And like I said, they'll be posted in the hallways. So please um, go around soon and check out those pieces of art that are celebrating the importance of being here every single day. Alrighty, now for our 60 seconds of silence. Remember, this is your turn to do what you need to do to set your day off on the right foot, whether that's doing affirmations or just taking a quiet moment or doing some breathing, whatever works for you. So we will see you back here in 60 seconds and have a wonderful day. Today is National Flight Flashlight Day. The source of light has been used since 19, 1899. Girls Soccer Club meets today. Thank you for watching, watching another, another amazing, amazing episode of FPNN. FPNN. I'm Taylor. And I'm Caitlin. We, we can, can have, have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. Wednesday. See you tomorrow. Arg.